Hey YouTube, it's me, me Kali. Uh, today I'm doing a different video. Um, I know I haven't uploaded the videos for it yet, so it was probably I, I haven't you know told anyone about it. But um, 20, what was it, like 2018, 2019, when I went to my trip on Japan, um, there were of course many of things in the Gundam base, but of course the things that I most had to get were the weird, uh, you know, miscellaneous items that people here in America just can't get. So, of course, I had to do my due diligence and get some of the more stranger things, uh, like the food items uh, that were there, um, in, you know, so I could bring them back and share them uh, with, you know, people on the internet. And one of those items is the Gundam Cafe Char... <laughs> Gundam Cafe... My camera's trying to track me here. My Gundam, Gundam Cafe Char Osnable Red Curry. As we can see here, and I'm doing first person mode, um, it looks just kind of like if you've ever had uh, your Walmart stock them, or if you go have a Japanese thing, it's just kind of the sauce in bag curry. Um, so it's not the block kind, it's just the, the kind you put in a pot and you heat up real quick. Um, but it is Char Osnable Red, um, I assume, based off of this picture. Uh, it's got the official sticker. Um, I have no idea what it says on the front here. I'm assuming something Gundam based. Um, and then on the back there's instructions, but it's basically just put it in hot water for five minutes and microwave it if you want to microwave it. We're going to be doing the hot water because uh, I have another extra just regular curry that's on the top. The sides just kind of say the same thing. Um, so yeah, let's bust this thing open. I'm gonna do it here, wait. So bam, open. So inside, it's just the curry bag. Nothing special, unfortunately. No cool stuff like the, uh, the Hakushiki curry. Um, it's just a bag nondescript um, white pouch, yeah. So I'm gonna try to do my best to make a Zaku, or a, I guess a Char's custom Zaku. Um, I don't have a tomato and I don't have thing to make the fin, so I'll just do a shape of a Zaku and you'll have to do your best imagination. Just noticed now the bag does in fact say Char and the date at which it uh, best Buy, which is today, so that's why we're making it today, <laughs> so hopefully it tastes fine. So now my boyfriend is just, uh, making up all the chicken. We're doing our own kind of weird seasoning blend here in the flour. Um, oh, <laughs> we basically just kind of threw in everything in our seasoning, uh, kind of cabinet and a bit dash of, um, some Japanese seasonings that I had uh, from uh, a Japanese store. Um, and we're just doing, you know, kind of flour seasoning blend, um, egg wash, and then uh, regular panko crumbs that you can get from, you know, your uh, local supermarket. And we're just, you know, doing it up <laughs> so that, you know, it, it gets on there evenly. Um, making sure, you know, it gets thoroughly coated and nice, uh, and see him doing that, yeah. Okay, I'll grab this one. 
Okay, so my fabulous boyfriend uh, cooked up some... All the chicken ended curry panko chicken, I don't know what to call it, but it's, you know, his katsu. <laughs> I was blanking on the word. Uh, we got the curry in pouches. He's gonna cut his open and do his. He's just got regular. I tried doing... It doesn't look good on camera, but I tried doing my best. My best Zaku. I don't have any eyes for, like, the the mono eye, so you just gotta, you know, use your <laughs> use your best guess here. I could probably toss here a piece of chicken right for his eye. There we go, there's his chicken. It looks more like an AC guy than a, than a Zaku, but, all right. All right, I'm gonna open the bad boy up. Smell like it's... It certainly smells like Japanese curry. Uh, it doesn't smell like anything, you know, different. All right, let's pour it. Well, I mean, does that look red to you? Yeah. It looks red. <laughs> Boyfriend says it looks red. I don't know. It looks just kind of like regular curry That's color brown. to me. That's brown. He says this is red. Dark brown and this is orangey red. Yeah, it looks it looks different, but it instead of having like where this one has vegetables and and such, this one looks like it only has has a few pieces of meat. So let let me try it here. I get a good piece of the rice with some curry. Oh, it's spicy. It's like a... Here, taste it. What do you think? Very tomatoey. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's why they had the... the the picture of the tomato on the box, but very tomato but let's it's good. It doesn't taste bad. Oh, yeah, it doesn't taste bad. Alright, let's try it with the With the meat it's pretty good. The little meat chunks, they they taste like a... it tastes almost like a yeah, like an Italian an Italian kind of dish I'd have, like a risotto almost. Like a spicy risotto. I don't know if that's Italian, <laughs> but overall, 10 out of 10. I think it's pretty good, at, you know, in terms of, like, different curries and stuff. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. Um, so, yeah, let, let, me, let me devour this thing. So, I've eaten all that my little boy tummy can handle, um because I have the world's smallest belly, apparently, to eat food. But overall, after eating it all, um, it's super good. Uh, it tastes, uh, my boyfriend confirmed the way I thought, it's very Italian-esque. Um, it tastes almost like a a tomato, kind of like Chef Boyardee, he, he described it as. Um, but realistically, I think it's it's really good with the, the, the chicken that my boyfriend made. Uh, that, like, combined with it brings out the the flavor in both of them so uh really good overall um if you're ever in japan and they still sell this stuff uh try to get it i got it in the the tokyo odaiba gundam cafe uh, next to the big gundam statue um 
so yeah check it out there if you're ever in the neighborhood of japan uh get one there was also a ramen there i unfortunately didn't get the ramen i should have um but i got the curry instead still 10 out of 10